Tonight only, News 3 talks with the roommates of the man Madison Police shot and killed yesterday. That couple recalls their eyewitness account of what went down early yesterday morning. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Hoff. That man's identity revealed today by the Dane County Medical Examiner. 30-year-old Paul Heenan was shot and killed by a police officer Friday. And while the autopsy confirms this is how Heenan died, the medical examiner says additional testing is also underway. Only News 3's Danica Lewis joins us now after she talked with a couple who had known Heenan for a number of years. Danica? Certainly an emotional conversation today, Jennifer. And when police wouldn't answer our questions about this case today, we went back to the neighborhood where it all happened. And that's where I came across the house where Paul Heenan lived and sat down with his roommates, a couple who had had dinner with him that night and invited him willingly into their home about a week before and can't believe that their friend Polly is gone. And it's undo, you know, we can't undo it. I was just thinking a million different thoughts. Woken up by what sounded like a fight. And then I heard, I heard somebody shout in a really loud, gruff voice, get down, get down. And then immediately after that, I heard gunshots. Then Nate Royko Moore saw it with his own eyes. I saw something that I l looked like, you know, right off the corner of the of the roof here that looked like a body. A tape surrounded neighborhood Nate and his wife Amelia moved into about a week ago and a roommate they knew for more than a decade. Never in my mind would I could I possibly imagine that anyone would have reason to do that to him. The couple says Paul Heenan was a kind, supportive person and practically part of the family. We're really sad. We have to tell our six-year-old that her best buddy is gone. A buddy they can't imagine would put anyone in harm's way. It was a mistake and he is not a violent person. He, I've not, he hates guns. He, 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 he just, he's, he's kind, he's gentle, he is, he mirrors what this neighborhood is about. Now the Roy Comores still have a number of questions. Did the officers have tasers? Did they announce themselves? How much danger were police in? Well, we couldn't offer any answers to those inquiries. Again, Madison police refused to offer us any additional information today. We still do know that two officers are on administrative leave, one a female officer, the other a 15 veteran of the force, and that there was a reported confrontation, according to police, between Heenan and an officer. Beyond that, Madison PD keeping quiet on this case. So certainly, again, a lot of unanswered questions that we're still hoping to get a few details on this investigation in the days to come. Tough story all around, Danica. Thank you. And we also know that Paul Heenan was a sound technician for the band Hometown Sweethearts. Tonight, the band is telling News 3 that they are destroyed by this tragedy. They called Heenan sweet and caring and that a giant hole is left in his absence. Stay with News 3 and Channel3000.com as we continue to follow this story.